Hi aviation fans, welcome back to Driven Aviator channel. In this episode, I'm telling you about those little things. Vortex generators. What is a vortex generator? What is it good for? How can you use it on your airplane? Is it worth it? Or is it not worth it? I will tell you all those things you need to know. Special cars, rare bikes and airplanes. This is what drives me. I'm Philip and I'm the Driven Aviator. Welcome to my channel. To understand how it works, you need to go back and yeah, we need to talk about how a wing works in general. You know, a wing separates the airflow which is coming on the leading edge. One part is going around the wing on the upper side, the other one on the downer side. You have a pressure differential and this gives you lift and you want to have lift from your wing. So everything is depending on the angle of attack. The angle of attack means the angle between your cord line of the wing and the airflow coming from the front. So right now this plane is on the ground. Um, it has a high nose so you have a very high angle of attack and you might remember very very high angle of attacks uh, lead to a stall. This is the case when the wing is not being able anymore to produce enough lift to keep you up in the air. The reason for this is our boundary layer. The boundary layer is uh, separated in some laminar airflow which is going here and at some points your air separates and you have an area of turbulent airflow where the air is not going smoothly around your wing. But you want to have smooth air because smooth air creates the pressure differential that keeps you up. This is a very easy explanation, I know. I'm not a physician, I'm not a professor of aerodynamics, but I try to explain it to you the way you hopefully understand it the, the best way. So what is the vortex generator doing? You place the vortex on your leading edge, like this one. As you can see, it makes the airflow going to the outsides. What happens after this? When the air is going on the, light, on the right and left on the outside, you have a low pressure area here. And because of that, the air is starting to roll back to the inside. So it is creating little vortices. This is the same thing that a big wing creates uh, when you have wing vortices, what you might be aware of uh, when a big plane uh, departs or arrives in front of you. So these vortices are going down the wing and they help to keep the, uh, the airflow straight on the wing. So it helps to prevent turbulent air. This is pretty much how a vortex generator works. So what are the general effects of vortex generators? First one is you have a lower stall speed because the wing is able to produce lift longer than it would be without a vortex generator on the wing. Um, because of this lower stall speed, you have lower takeoff speeds, lower landing speeds, and this causes less energy you have during your flare out and especially during your landing, um, which is also a good thing. You have an increased takeoff weight because your wing simply can, yeah, lift more weight. You have shorter takeoff and landing distances because of the decreased stall speed and you have better aileron effectiveness because the vortex goes over the wing down to the aileron and this keeps your aileron effective even during very, very low speeds. To give you an idea what my real life experience with the vortex generators is, um, this is a wild thing. Uh, tail dragger aircraft with a 120 horsepower Jabiru engine and around 300 kilograms empty weight, so a very light aircraft. It is already because it has, has a lot of wing area. It is a very slow aircraft and it is a short takeoff and landing aircraft, a stall aircraft. Um, nevertheless, there's one problem with this aircraft. If we have a look on the upside of the wing, you will see there are thousands of rivets and those are not sunken in. Those rivets are sticking out in the free airflow of the wing. So uh, it took me a while to, yeah, to recognize that those rivets 
cause a very bad stall behavior. So this plane was stalling quite unpredictable. Sometimes it was stalling at speed A, sometimes it was stalling at speed B, and it was stalling very abruptly. So that, uh, <laughs> that gave me a, mom a very lot of wow moments because I was quite surprised how the plane reacted during flare and stall. So after installing all those VGs, you can see them here, all down the wing. Um, the plane has a reduced stall speed from uh, 58 kilometers per hour, which it had before, down to around 45, sometimes 50, sorry, 55, sometimes 50, somewhere in between 50 and 54 uh, stall speed. So four kilometers per hour stall speed reduction and much more important, the stall characteristics are so, so much better. Um, the plane now flies very predictable, like you know from other aircraft that have not so many rivets in their airflow. So you exactly feel when this plane is stalling and what it will do next. And this helped me a lot, to be honest. Another thing I noticed, um, all of you might know this mushy feeling when you are near stall speed of all your waters and uh, your elevators and your ailerons, so I don't like this mushy feeling. The vortex generators have improved this feeling a lot. So as I told you, the airflow is stabilized down to the ailerons. And because of that, um, you have much more feel even during very, very low speeds on your aileron. And another thing, let's go to the stabilizer. I hope you can see that there uh, are also vortex generators installed on the underside of the stabilizer and this gives you much more effectiveness of your elevator. And it's the same thing like with the other ones. During low speeds you are not missing this mushy feeling. It improved really a lot. In general I can tell you this plane is much more fun to fly. It is safer to fly and it is definitely worth the investment. I mean, Vortex generators for this specific aircraft was around, I think, 300 to 400 bucks. Uh, you need a few hours for installation. I will show you how to install them later on. Um, in general, I would definitely recommend this. Of course, it is depending on your airplane, on your specific one. But for this aircraft, it is definitely worth it. So last but not least, let me show you how to install those things. You see they are pretty straight in line with the leading edge. So what you will get once you order vortex generators are the VGs by itself. They are looking this one. It's just a uh, plain aluminum. It's a CNC cut. And here, there are plenty of them in there. So in case I lose one of them, which I already did, unfortunately, um, you have some spares available. So at first you need to measure where you want to place them. There are a lot of detailed instructions. The thing is, it really depends on your aircraft where to place them. And it can make a lot of difference even if you shift them a few millimeters. So what you will do at first, you measure it, you put them on your wing and you take this tape to temporarily um, stick them there. Afterwards, you go flying and see if it works or if it not works. When you finally found the perfect position for that, you have some very, very strong glue. I don't know what this is. It uh, smells terrible, <laughs> but uh, it seems to be extremely strong. So you take those positions um, and you glue them down. When you have the final spot, uh, you see I still have those stripes on it because, uh, yeah, I'm hoping to avoid uh, to lose any more of them and yeah then you're done this is how to install them in summary in general would I recommend to buy vortex generators for this kind of aircraft like little bush planes kit planes and all those um, stall planes you have out there Vortex generators are a very, very cost-effective way to increase your safety, your fun to fly, and the behavior of your airplane. So yes, I would definitely recommend them to you if there is a possibility to get them for your plane. 
another purpose they are fulfilling at twin engine aircraft you know twin engine aircraft um, have the vmc the minimum control speed below that vmc it's not possible to control the aircraft with an engine failure on one side so vortex generators on those airplanes reduce the vmc drastically um, i know it from the beechcraft duke uh, which has a very sleek wing design and uh, is yeah can be kind of tricky uh, near VMC. Um, there are a lot of Vortex Generator kid, kids out there and uh, some owners told me uh, the behavior of the aircraft is much, much better. Um, by the way, you have, again, a higher takeoff rate and you have a lower stall speed also. So lower VMC, lower stall speed, higher takeoff rate, more safety, again, for a twin engine aircraft, if there are kits available, it is a very cost effective way to make your airplane a little better. Another thing is uh, the reduction in, in speeds. Um, so for high speed wings, you might have a reduction of cruise speed from one, two, three, four knots. But um, you really want to make sure if someone made experiences with your particular aircraft and uh, look for some advice. In general, I can tell you they are great and they make sense for a lot of aircraft. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope to see you soon back on my channel. Please leave a subscription and bye bye guys. Driven hard in the clouds, fly so hard.